We think you'd probably agree the lighthouses on the coasts of Delmarva have, have stood the test of time. Some have been attacked, others have stood up to storms. And while most have weathered what has tried to beat them down, one in particular actually lost its battle 95 years ago this weekend thanks to the weather. Do you want to know more? We do too. So let's turn to the secrets of the Eastern Shore author, Jim Duffy. How are you this throwback Thursday? I am doing great, Jimmy and Lisa. Good afternoon to you. Now, you know, I didn't even know this happened until you brought it up. It was 95 years ago this weekend that the Cape Henlopen Lighthouse actually, well, it collapsed. It did. It just collapsed right down a cliff of sand and into a bunch of rubble in the in the sea. Uh, it's an amazing story. This was kind of an icon of a lighthouse? Oh my gosh, it, it was built in uh, 1764, so before the Revolutionary War. Uh, that's a very dangerous spot when you're coming out of the ocean and into the Delaware Bay there by Lewis and uh, Rehoboth Beach. Um, and the merchants up in Philadelphia got tired of uh, losing boats full of furniture and foodstuffs and everything else they were importing from uh, Europe uh, to shipwrecks there. Um, and so they pooled all their money together uh, and built this lighthouse uh, before, you know, we even had a government here uh, in the sense of the United States. Um, and it stood there for 160 some years until the 1920s. So you can imagine um, over time like that, I mean, it saw the revolution, it saw the war of 1812, it saw wow. civil war, railroads, World War One, kind of standing there on the coast like a sentinel and all these sailors from all over the world in and out. And they used to have big parties at the foot of the lighthouse every year. So so it, it became, you know, one of Delaware's premier kind of icons of, uh, of the geography and of the state. So how did it get in this uh, precarious position? Yeah, the prime culprit in the loss of the Cape Henlopen Lighthouse is, is Mother Nature. Um, when that lighthouse first went up in 1764, it was a full mile inland on top of a hill where there were a bunch of pine trees. So it kind of rose up out of the pine trees. But the shifting sands and the way they worked there on the Delaware Bay, the sea just kept on marching foot by foot and foot by foot and, um, until, you know, you can see uh, pictures of the lighthouse just sort of hanging on the edge of the sea. There's one aspect of something man did that might or might not have had something to do with it. They built that big Delaware breakwater um, jetty um, mm -hmm. at Cape Henlopen again to protect ships from uh, shipwreck. And it's possible that all that construction work and the way they did it kind of speeded up this process. That happened in the 1800s. Um, and then we got into, into the 1900s and, and everybody started to see that the lighthouse was in a very precarious situation. So, so it had been there, what, 160 some odd years. Did, did they try to save it? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, there were a whole bunch of different ways um, to try to save it. Kind of on the science and engineering side, you know, they put riprap up and they tried to to do these smallish kind of breakwaters and, and things like that. There's a great quote from a engineer, Captain Gray, I think his name was, that said, um, the sea is stronger than man's ingenuity, um, as he summed up his helpless feeling of trying to prevent this. The state formed a commission uh, to try and save it. My favorite bit of trying to save it was this really lovely essay in the newspaper that was written by a high school senior. Her name was Lillian Coverdale, and I'd have to, you know, spend an hour reading the whole thing to you here, but to just say that there were all kinds of people who were concerned about it and saw it coming. Um, but uh, they didn't they didn't get to save it in time. One plan mm. was to pick it up and basically and move it over to the Dover Green, uh, but they didn't get it in time. April 13th of uh, 1926 was the day that it became too late. Too late. Too Jim down. Duffy, Secrets of the Eastern Shore. We'll have a link to that website where you can read the full story on our website. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Thursday. That sounds great. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks, we wow. are too. Goodness gracious.